Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Duramo. I am the founder of the American Institute of Mind-Body Medicine. And in this video, I wanna share why I'm doing my work the way I'm doing. What is the premise of this work and why I've seen such powerful shifts in people's health to be able to shift from having a severe chronic illness to resolving that disease and being disease free, living with chronic pain, chronic fatigue, maybe 20 different diagnoses, unable to eat food, to cellular repair where they no longer have that disease, they have their energy back, they can tolerate food and have a really free lifestyle. So as a physician, um, I've dedicated my whole journey to this because I've seen this is where we have the greatest power and leverage in shifting what's happening in the body. So um, I studied psycho neuroimmunology for decades, starting at a really young age. And that's basically the understanding that psycho, our thoughts, our beliefs, and our neuro, our brain activity, and our nervous system communication, and our immunology, which is our whole immune system, but also our endocrine system, our digestive system, these are all connected. They are not separate and our thoughts and beliefs have a profound impact on what's happening in our nervous system, which has the most profound impact on what's happening everywhere else throughout the body. The basis of the work I'm doing is that we are pure energy. We are not the solid, physical, static, unchanging matter that we appear to be. And it's great to do things at that level, like improve your vitamin D level, eat foods that aren't toxic, you know, organic foods that don't have a lot of toxins in them. Um, you know, look at the blood work and see if there's certain things you want to avoid or hormones you want to correct. But way, way, way beyond all of that is this inner energy structure. So it's great to do those physical things, exercise, get movement, but these are the tip of the iceberg and they are governed by what's happening in your energy, what's happening in your consciousness. And so when I'm working with individuals, whether it's in the Embracing Health program, which is our signature program, it's a year long journey where we bring people through this major quantum shift, or um, you know, just sharing in my weekly uh, broadcasts, we wanna create a shift at this level. And I've found that once we do that, all the other stuff flows. Like you find some amazing solution that makes it really easy to do those physical things, or there's some cure you never even knew about, and all of a sudden you access that, you hear about that, you find out about that, and it's easy. When we don't do this inner shift first, all of those things are really hard. It's like an uphill battle of a hamster wheel of trying to optimize your diet or trying to make better food choices or trying to get more uh, exercise. And so the things I found that really create this quantum shift are when we honor our energy field. First of all, just understanding that you are pure energy and consciousness, just that perspective alone creates an electromagnetic shift. So we've seen up to eight to 10 feet away from your body, your energy field can be detected. We can look at the quality of that. And that directly determines what's happening in your body and in your cells. So your emotional state, let's look here, right? How are you feeling? Because you are not just thoughts and ideas and uh, neurologic impulses, you are emotion and emotion is meant to be energy in motion. In fact, the heart is the most powerful electromagnetic energy field in your entire mind body system. It is governing your brain function. The emotion you're in, whether it's joy or it's anger, frustration, is going to change the way your brain functions, the way you see the world, your thoughts, and every action and decision you make. This is not only sending a cellular neurologic communication, it's governing your entire nervous system, immune system, endocrine system, and all the cellular signals in your body. So when we work at this foundational level of shifting what's going on emotionally, is there trauma held in the system? Is there repression? That's gonna change those signals going to the brain going all the way down to your entire nervous system, uh, we can impact 
the cellular messaging, the hormone balancing, uh, the way the gut works, the way you detoxify, and we can even impact your DNA. So the DNA, the genes, the way your cells work is governed by this energy system. And so when we neglect this and we are really just like trying to fix all the physical stuff, but we stay in this faulty alignment of like trauma, drama, fear, worry, seeing myself as separate, um, we're really gonna just have a lot of work and there's really minimal change that can happen, which is why so many doctors will say, in fact, this will never change. You'll have this disease forever, but hey, let's cope with it and manage it, and here's what you need to do. And so that's true to the degree that you stay in that energy alignment. Once you shift that, all bets are off. Virtually everything, everything, everything in your system, even in your DNA, can shift and change. And we've seen this scientifically clinically, which is what I'm so fascinated about. And so the three things that are really useful to shift this environment, this electromagnetic signal are, we kind of want to think of a detox. <laughs> so you, sure, you could detox physically, and that's sort of where you're going to get the most leverage. But when we think about, and this is sort of in preparation for everything we're doing in the Embracing Health program, coming up because we open this once a year. We begin the course in June. We course through the entire year because your system is going to absorb this quantum level shift over the course of time. It doesn't need to happen all at once in one moment in one day. And so one thing I found is like your uh, mental detox, right? What's the information you're putting in? So media, what are you paying attention to? Who are you listening to? What are you tuning into, right? Are you getting um, like messages about your power, about um, the truth about who you are, or are you constantly feeding yourself with fear messages? How limited you are, what you need to do, you need to fight this and you need to make sure you do that. And I've seen people when they are on a health journey get a lot of information but it's actually just more work. They're working harder and harder to micromanage their cellular environment or micromanage their diet and it just keeps you <laughs> contracted in that fight or flight state. So you wanna think about like mental detox. Who am I paying attention to? What am I listening to? Tune in and feel how you feel when you believe that, when you tune into that, when you listen to that, doctor or that podcast or that point of view or fill in the blank, how do you feel cellularly? And keep it super simple, light, heavy. Because when I was told I had a severe autoimmune disease and all the things I'd need to do and I'd need to change my lifestyle and change my diet and take multiple medications and I never run again, it felt so heavy. It was like a death sentence. So here's like, I finally had this solution, but it was a nightmare. So are you sensing and feeling that mental, like what am I buying into? Wow, this feels really heavy to me. You know what? It's not true for me. And I let all of that go and I stopped looking for that and I stopped barking up that tree and like begging some doctor to please help me, tell me what's wrong with me and I let it go. So mental detox is like, who am I believing? Who am I listening to? Where am I looking? And when we're, um, you know, plugged into certain media or just certain people in our lives, it's going to give us that quality and literally program our electromagnetic signals to create the chemistry of stress, to create the chemistry of disease, to zap our energy levels and we are completely depleted. The adrenals are overrun. We have adrenal fatigue syndrome. We have thyroid disease, which will always follow that. And the body just can't regenerate its energy. So we gotta unplug from that as well. Emotional, right? In your relationships, who are you spending time with? Who are you listening to? Because we are energetically the sum total of all the energy fields we're in. And if you remember here, right? This is what gives us the input. This electromagnetic system. It is feeding information to your body 
to your nervous system, not just for the way you think, the beliefs and thoughts you have and the way you see the world, but for how you feel. And you'll feel, again, that lightness or that heaviness in your relationships if this is a life-giving relationship, a person who carries a really high-frequency electromagnetic field, who has love in their heart. It will literally shift your chemistry when you're around that person. Are you tuning in to be aware of that? And are you being judicious with your relationship choices? Because on some level, you already know the relationships that are toxic for you, that are sucking your energy away, that are keeping you spinning in a pattern of fear, and the relationships that are life-giving, the relationships that uplift you, where you feel even better after you leave that person or even just thinking about that person. So you wanna clear this out. Um, and then the third piece, we can look at physical, right? So do a body detox. Um, let go of uh, maybe toxic water, stuff you're putting in your body that's super highly processed. So, um, you know, food, water, air, you know, your environment physically. Look at what um, topical things. A lot of times we're putting stuff on our body that are known endocrine disruptors. Like you'd never eat that stuff, but your skin is absorbing everything you put on it. So you wanna think about like, oh, what if I just get rid of that? I'm not using those products anymore. Maybe, yeah, you wanna moisturize your body, use coconut oil, use olive oil, it's really cheap, it's easy. And you stop using those products that are endocrine disruptors, it's gonna have you feel lighter. It's gonna lighten your electromagnetic energy field. It's gonna make a big um, difference. Cleaners that you're using right? You got to look at why. Why do I do this? Now, most people do it because they are in so much fear and so much pain. They're going to work really hard to change their food or to change their lifestyle. Don't do that. See if you can release that path and go back to love. Choose to love myself fully. I love myself with food because it'll be exponentially easier to choose healthy choices, nurturing choices, when you do it because you choose to love yourself versus because, oh, I hate this fatigue, or oh, I can't stand the way my body is, I've gotta fix myself. That'll actually drain your energy. So you wanna to look to your why. This will activate you, this will give you more energy than you put in to make these changes. So this is actually the lowest level, right? This is where all of conventional medicine is looking is like the physical, here's a medication, here's a physical change, here's a surgery, or even just um, a lot of holistic approaches of like change your food, change your diet. This is awesome. This is the least leveraged place, meaning you'll get less bang for the buck, so to speak. These are the most highly leveraged place where you can get an exponential quantum shift in your physical by making changes here. And so when we work with people with embracing health, we are changing the way you think, the way you see the world. We are changing those trauma drama programs of um, stress that's in your body, maybe from like 20 years ago that you don't realize is there, but is actually activated in your system and driving your cellular. Your cells are listening to these electromagnetic signals. They are listening to every thought and belief, conscious or unconscious. They're having an impact on everything happening in your body. And so the greatest, most leveraged place we can make these shifts, micro shifts to get a macro change in the physical are on these levels of the mental and the emotional. And so in the Embracing Health work, which we're starting in a few weeks here, the doors are officially open. Um, this is where we are acting. And that is why so many people who've been told nothing can change, you'll have to manage this forever, it's genetic, you have a physical illness, you need medication, can actually see a substantial physical shift in their pain, in their uh, disease and in chronic disease infections like Lyme disease, Epstein-Barr viruses, in their uh, chronic fatigue and pain, anxiety disorders, even depression, because we are working at the subtlest level to shift the brain, to shift the nervous system, and that is what shifts the immune system, the endocrine system, all your hormones, the digestive system, 
detoxification pathways, every single thing going on that is seen to promote health. So if you are interested in joining me for this, the doors are open for Embracing Health. The link is at drkimd.com forward slash health. We do have a workshop going on where I'm going to go deeper into this and the premise of like, how do we get energy for this? How do we create these quantum shifts and begin to see immediately those physical shifts in the level of our energy, our well-being, so things get easier, not more complicated and more difficult to try to manage. Um, and so that is at drkimd.com forward slash workshop if you would like to register for that free workshop. That will really be the induction to what is this work about? How do we make those quantum shifts? What is your electromagnetic energy body anyway? And how does it impact everything that's happening physically? This is not just impacting your physical body. It's impacting everything you experience about your life because guess what? This system is also an output system. You are transmitting energy out. That emotional state, your thoughts, they are amplified and they are sending a signal to everyone and everything. That ends up determining how much money you make. Does that money stay with you or is it like constantly just going out because of other stuff going on in your life? What kind of relationships are you inviting into your life and what kind of experiences in those relationships? Your relationships are profoundly affected by your electromagnetics, by your set point. And then of course, everything going on in your health. So I'm really, really excited to be sharing this work. If you are ready to join me, I'm at drkimd.com. If you'd like to subscribe for more information or drkimd.com forward slash health. If you are ready to jump in for a massive quantum shift on every level of your consciousness for creating in your health and in your, your life and your relationships, you can join me for Embracing Health. I look forward to seeing you soon and I will see you on the other side.